Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a beautiful morning, a beautiful day that the Lord has given unto us. I believe you are well. I believe that God is keeping you together with your families. As we continue with the power to become this wonderful day and the theme of this month of February, my dear friends, has been that God always provides. God always provides. And today, my dear friends, we are looking at a very simple part of it that He doesn't wish you to perish. He doesn't wish you to perish. And I get this from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. It says this, The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but he is patient towards you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. This is a very simple, yet direct scripture, and very powerful also. Because in this scripture, we are learning something about God that is unlike our humanity. We are learning that first and foremost that when God has promised you something, He is not slow in delivery. Because the illusion we have is that God is slow in delivering for us the provision that we seek. And many a times when things delay, we normally attribute the delay to God being slow. Yet in truth, God has never been slow. God knows how being slow right now in your life. The Lord is always on time. And He is always patient towards us. Now, this is the the, the, the part that our prayer life comes into play and our, and our walk with God and the process it takes us through come to play. The second part that says, but is patient towards you. God is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient towards you. Patient towards you means this. It means that the Lord will take his time to take you through processes that are necessary for you to become the person he wants you to become. The Lord will invest in you, in your character, in your work to set you up for the blessing he wants to give you. All provision you seek from Jesus, my dear friends, all the provision you desire from God is always in line with the process that God is taking you through. The question I ask for, I have for you today is that what is the process that God is taking you through? What is your process right now? What is your process this season that you're in? Because there has to be a process. And God is patient with you through the process. In other words, God doesn't abandon you through the process that he is so eager not to bless you because you didn't become something that he was preparing you to become. No. God is patient until you get there. God will teach you through your children. He will teach you through your employer. He will teach you through your, through your marriage. He will teach you through whatever necessary means are available to him to teach you, he will teach you. But remember, my friends, you have to go through a process. God has never been slow. He does not start today. God is not slow with your life. He isn't slow with your future. He isn't slow about what concerns you. But there is a process that he has to take you through. And some of you in the process right now, where you can't really comprehend what's happening with your life, are you going forward or backwards? Because God is faithful in all of his ways and is guiding you in all of his ways. So my dear friends, as we read this scripture one more time, it says that he is patient towards us, not wishing for any of us to perish. Meaning he doesn't desire or bring him joy when he sees you perish. Perish here means that when he sees you getting distracted, when he sees your things not working, God doesn't rejoice in your failure, my dear friends. But God is always looking forward for you to come to the place of change of mind, repentance, a change of mind, a change of attitude, a completion of the process he's taking you through. So as you wait on the Lord in this season of your life, whatever you're going through, allow the process to unfold. Be patient in the process. Don't throw your hands up. Don't make a lot of noise. Don't complain. Don't curse. But remember you're in a process. God's promise for your life is not slow. will never delay. God's promise for your life is always on time. But the process he's taking you through, that, my dear friends, has to be done. Because he knows the process is necessary for your capacity to receive. I want us to pray together today that God gives us the grace to be patient through whatever processes he's taking us through and to believe that his provision will always find us. Let us pray. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I bless you and I worship you, Lord. I thank you, Father, for the gift of life and your Holy Spirit who is always with us. I pray that, Father, you bless your sons and your daughters this wonderful morning. I pray that, Lord, whatever process they are in, Lord, as they are waiting for you, Lord, to fulfill a promise that you promised to their lives, the Lord, they may be patient through the process. They may be patient through the waiting. They may be patient, Lord, through the receiving. The Lord, whatever it is they are going through, may they have the patience and, Lord, the virtue of peace within them. The Lord, they can understand, they may learn, they may grow, and they may become as you want them to become, Lord. I pray that, Father, you renew our minds every moment, that through the renewing of our minds, our capacity may increase 
in each and every one, Lord. And the capacity, Lord, to receive should grow and multiply in every single person. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and for your goodness, Lord, because you are faithful to do what you've promised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do stay blessed, my brothers and sisters. See you again next time, same time. Remember, he doesn't long, he doesn't wish for you to perish. He always provides. Stay blessed.